Come on, you're late. Oh, pretty car. Come on. Where are you late? I'm not late. We're well, washing your hair. No, well, yes, whatever. Where are we going anyway? We're going to the country. Not the real cow. Not you mean Islington? <laughs> well, Islington were real cows. Not cows. Not cows and trees and things like that. Fields. For most of us who live in towns and cities, moving to the country remains a distant dream. But for Sarah and Malcolm Tuvey, that dream became a reality six months ago when they and their two small children moved from Wanstead in London to this farmhouse in Warwickshire. We looked for a house for six months. The details of this house came through by accident. I could just tell that it would be the sort of house we liked. We drove into the village, didn't we? Yeah. And uh, we just fell in love with it. I think it was the... It was just very, very pretty, wasn't it? was a lovely it? building. Sarah and Malcolm's house, like most of the buildings in their part of the world, is made of a material that's often mistaken for Cotswold stone. In fact, it's a local variety of sedimentary rock called Horton stone. And there's nowhere better to see it in its architectural prime than here at Edge Hill, just a few miles down the road from Malcolm and Sarah's house in Shotswell. The tower was built to commemorate the first battle of the English Civil War. On the afternoon of October the 23rd, 1642, in this pub garden, Charles I raised his standard, summoned his officers, and attacked the parliamentary forces in the valley down below. This way to the battle, yeah? Actually, all the fighting took place in the valley because it was felt it would be far too unsporting for the roundheads to have to fight uphill. So what's that got to do with design, and garden design in particular? Well, nothing really. I just thought I'd show you. And I want to use some of that stone in the garden. What are you up to? What's a silly hat you're wearing? Well, now I get to keep it, because look, it's solid felt. That's it. Solid felt, with a solid felt bow and a feather, it's fantastic. It's ridiculous. We're going to see a quarry now. You can't trust that. Oh, mind. Well, it's unprofessional. It's mad here, isn't it? Crikey. It's like a person that filmed Star Wars. This must be Obi Wan Kenobi then. <laughs> Hi, John. You're the quarry manager. Yes, are you? I am. Hi, Laura. Yeah, I'm Graham. Yeah. No, it's been hacked by hand, isn't it? Wow. Oh yeah. yeah. It's all chopped by hand. Why? Why is that? Um, it's the easiest way to do it, actually. If you do it with a, a rock drill or anything like that, it breaks it into more pieces than you can use. We can go and see them digging it out for you if you want. The biggest problem for the yard is the fact that the kids can't play in it. It's just used as a rubbish tip at the moment, really, given that we're renovating the house anyway. At the moment, you walk through the door to the yard and just see a mess, and that's the entrance to our house. We really would like something a bit more... That makes it look a bit special. Yeah. And we're not really sure how to go about it. And for these reasons, it fell to me to coax my esteemed colleague out of his metropolitan ivory tower and into Wellington. Oh! Oh, it's so windy! Oh, country, country. It's very pretty. It is pretty. It's romantic. It's all your hallmarks. It is. It's, it's nice. It's, it's just all those kind of big, scary fields with those sort of four-legged things that make odd noises and brown stuff comes out of one end. It might be back there. Oh, I'm going down this way. I think it's over there because I've been to the country before. Well, uh, it's somewhere around here. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this is one of the drawbacks of these pretty villages and all this lovely stone, is that everything looks the same. And we're well, convinced this is the one? I think this is it. Well, we're here now, so we're doing this one, even if it isn't. 
but it's perfect for you. It's so, Laura Ashley, isn't it? Well, I feel a kind of a vet thing coming on. Hello. Sorry. Hello. 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 Pretty. I'd, I'd like it if it was smaller and it was tidier and it was closer to the town, I think. A potland. <laughs> well, but can you do bonsai country? Thing? You That's can get a little like tiny town that's that big and then you sit them in a little tiny field and it would be great. It wouldn't smell as much as well. Okay, action. So, what's that got to do with design, and garden design in particular? Well, nothing really. I just thought I'd show you. And I'm going to use some of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I've seen it. Of course I can do it. <laughs>